Now let's talk about the AC lines. Lightning current and surge arrestor for use in photovoltaic power supply systems are basically tremendously important on the AC side because the damage, the amount of money, the time and effort to replace a damaged AC appliance or the grid is much, much higher than the DC side. DC side, PV array, as much as it will be, as, as big as it will be, cost that much to replace. Certain panels will, be, will break down, will be damaged, we will replace them. Cables, DC cables will be damaged, we will replace them. But that's a local damage. When we talk about the AC side damages, the, the, the financial cost implications are much, much higher. Now, we have a, a lightning arrestors which are already pre-wired, coming like this from the manufacturers. And there are a wide range of manufacturers dealing with that. Goes up to 1000 volts in a regular uh, PV system. We are talking about 1000 volt AC, which is approximately four times, five times the normal utility voltage level of 220, 230. So this, for example, an AC lightning arrestor is five times higher than the normal voltages. Anything below this 1000 volt will be taken care of by a regular SPD. A lightning ar arrestor is five times more. So it's not instead of 380 volt AC in a three phase system will go up to 500 or 400 or 550 volts. This will be taken care of as a normal SPD. But the lightning arrestor will go up to 1000 and even more. Now, the technology that is being used, utilized in lightning arrestors called spark gap technology, and it's a very, very fast acting mechanism because the amount of energy of the lightning comes in and out very, very fast. The spike is a very narrow spike. 